Our time of confession come from Galatians chapter 1, verses 6 to 10. In it, we read Paul writing these words to the people, the church in Galatia. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you by the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel, which is really no gospel at all. Evidently, some people are throwing you into confusion and are trying to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we preach to you, let that person be under God's curse. As we have already said, and so now I say again, if anybody is preaching to you a gospel other than than what you accepted, let that person be under God's curse. Am I trying to win human approval or God's approval? Or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for drawing us together today. Lord, help us to cling to the gospel, the true gospel that we were taught. And Lord, if for some reason we were taught a gospel other than the gospel of salvation by faith in Jesus Christ alone, given through his grace and through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross, through his death and re life, death and resurrection, if we were taught a gospel different than the one that teaches Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, great three in one, if we were taught a gospel other than this, O oh God, please, please help us to know the truth. And if we have wandered away and believed teachings that were lies, if we have believed that we are saved through our own deeds, through our good works, if we believed that you are not who you say you are in scriptures, if we have believed that salvation can come through some other means other than Jesus Christ, Lord, please forgive us and bring us home. To you. Amen. Our words of assurance come from Deuteronomy 33, verse 12. Let the beloved of the Lord rest secure in him, for he shields him all day long, and the one the Lord loves rests between his shoulders. Brothers and sisters, you are beloved of God, and you rest in him.